Hi guys, welcome to another video. I've had my life changed by this DJI Osmo camera. It's a little action cam. Screen switch. Start recording. And this is by the fact that it's voice controlled. The ease of using this camera once I've put my welding gloves on. The best part is having it turn on when I'm ready to start recording rather than having it on for a few minutes before I'm ready to start filming or having it on for ages after I've got the shot but I continue with the job. Um, just having that voice control is, is freaking amazing. And it actually got me thinking about the rest of my shop. Hey, good, we're good. Turn on the computer. Hey, good, we're good. Turn on the laser. Hey, we're good. Turn on the compressor. Turn off the compressor. Hey, good, we're good. Turn on the dust collector. Hey good, we can turn on extractor. I have voice automated all of the tools that I use regularly or are things like the computer and the laser that I don't want left on overnight that I can set a timer to turn them off every day. There's about 30 more things that I want to automate in this shop. Now that I've got the bug, I think this whole automation situation is bloody brilliant. Stop recording. I've added a 60 watt CO2 laser to my shop and I've wanted a laser for a long time to brand my products and to enhance my packaging. Today I need to put my logo in a whole bunch of fire extinguisher bracket. Setting up for these parts, super easy. I just use a piece of Kaizen foam uh, to lift them up off the bed and to not scratch the part while we're doing the engrave. So I just got manual Z on the bed, uh, just an up and down button. So just lower the bed here. I use a program called Lightburn. It's very affordable and also very good. I have a design of the logo already. And for this engrave on a 60 watt tube, I'm doing 40 millimeters a second at 25% power. But I have a feeling that uh, I'm gonna need more power. We'll do some tests right now and see what sort of settings we get. seconds. So ended up at 300 millimeters a second at 25% power. So the settings have varied since last time because I've actually changed the tube in this laser since my saved settings. And I believe that last time I was doing two passes. But if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that I used to engrave on... Where is it? On my little CNC router. So that engrave took 44 seconds. Just for curiosity's sake, I want to see how long that would have taken. So just in VCARV, I've done a quick mock-up using a 60 degree V-bit. The same way that I would normally engrave which is just a, a sample there. I just want to go ahead and see how long that would have taken. That would have taken eight minutes and I know from experience that that would have taken two passes. 
Uh, so 44 seconds with no clamping, no physical material loss, meaning that if I mess up, I can simply strip the part and have it re-powder coated and I haven't scrapped the actual material itself. Whereas on the CNC router, I'd have to remove physical material and if a mistake was made, the part is scrapped and I'd have to, I'd have to wear the cost of all of that because effectively I'm engraving on a finished part. So 16 minutes to 44 seconds is uh, bloody worth it and no clamping is, is just a freaking amazing situation. Hey Google, turn off the laser. R34 Skyline, uh, 370Z, uh, Evo 789 and Evo 10. These Evo 789 ones super popular for me. Um, done 10 of them today, should last me for the rest of the month. And I've just cleaned them up and taken a photo for Instagram. So I really want to try and make more videos, short videos like this, but with content that has some meaning or some, some interest, not just uh, rando, incoherent vlogs. I hope this short video with an insight into uh, my CO2 laser was interesting for some of you. If you have a CO2 laser and you've been curious about engraving powder coat, uh, hopefully there was some information in here that was beneficial to you. Also, if there's something specific you'd like to see me engrave or cut, or there's something that you want that I can make for you, hit me up in the comments below. I would love to use this machine more. It is so much fun. But on that note, thank you so much for spending this time with me. I truly appreciate it. And I can't wait to see you in the next one.